Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Health Lair. So today we're going to show you guys how to wrap a present the right way. Uh, so you ready to pack a present with me, buddy? Uh, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna empty out the table. As you can see, we have our, our little necessities here. Let's do a little cheers. He has some uh, hot cocoa and some whipped cream in there, and I have some coffee. Mm. Oh, love it. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna empty the table, make some space, and then we'll start wrapping the present, okay? Step number one is you need to measure the present. You basically don't want it to be very tight where you can't do anything with the paper or any patterns. At least I don't like to do that because when it's just perfect size, you can't really do any fold or any specific decorations with the paper itself. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a few minutes. Um, second, there are a few things that you can use to cut the paper. A lot of people use scissors. I've used not a bad thing. It's very common. It's just easy and simple. But just in case you can't find the scissors, please don't freak out. There's a really simple fix to this. You use a card. I'll show you an example of how you can cut paper using cards. So say you don't have scissors, but you have the roller paper. What you do is you make a crease first. Let's make a small crease so I don't waste all that paper. So you make a crease, and then once you make a crease, you use a card to cut the paper within the crease. So this is what essentially you're gonna be doing. As you can see, I cut it, no scissors, perfect line, it's beautiful. All right, so that's a small tip. Second, what kind of tape do I use? There's two different kinds of tapes. One is a little bit more expensive than the other, so I use one sparingly and one in doing presents that I think deserve an extra small attention to detail. This is a two-sided tape, uh, but it's very small compared to the one-sided tape. So if you don't want the one-sided tape to be seen on the present paper, for example, for example, this is a present that I wrapped, but you know, it's not the fanciest I've ever wrapped because as you can see, you can see the tape. So when you think that a present deserves a little more extra attention to that and you don't want this tape to be seen because you want the present to be perfect. For example, if it's a present for your boss. You don't want this to be seen. You want to take the extra time. Clearly, you know, I've gotten a bit lazy because we've been doing too many uh, present packing uh, lately. So I've just used what we have more of and that's the one sided tape. Uh, so. I'm gonna show you guys how to wrap a present now. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you use the lines on the paper. Lines on the paper are not just for you to make the cuts, it's for you to straighten the present on the paper so you get um, equal dimensions all around the actual present itself. So what I do is I choose one side and I stick that side first. You wanna put the tape, buddy? There you go. Okay, so put it. All right. Put it good. Yeah, you put it wonderful. Perfect. All right. So then what you want to do is you want to turn it around. So you see how I have this extra slack that wasn't an accident. That was actually on purpose because when you have extra slack, there's some things you can do with it. For example, you can make one fold so that it looks nice and pretty, or you can make multiple folds. What does multiple folds mean? So here's one fold and then you fold it back and then you fold it again. So what it ends up looking like is two folds and it just looks really pretty and people have no idea how you did it and it just looks, you know, like you know what you're doing. Okay. And then I'll put one over here, perfect. And now we pull it and we have to pull it tight, nice and tight, so it looks really nice and tight and pretty. And look how pretty that looks. A lot of people have issues with the corners themselves. So one thing that we can do, right? You have issues with the corners too? Okay, so one thing that I like to do is I will show you on this side so you guys can see. We fold in on this side first, like that. We make it really nice and tight. We push down and we flatten out the one that's on the table. There you go. And then on the top, you do the same thing. So as you can see, I've gotten kind of good at this, so I don't actually have to see what I'm doing. I just kind of feel my way through it. But at first, it's gonna be really helpful for you to see what you're doing. So you want it all to look like that. So then what I like to do is if I put a pattern on one side, I like that side to be the folded down last. So what I'll do is I'll fold the bottom one up first and then I'll fold this one over it last. But this is too much paper. It might go even over and it's gonna look really messy. So I'll fold it. Okay, here, can you put some tape? Thank you put this here for the next time uh, and I'm gonna put tape here to hold it in place there okay put tape here buddy 
No? <laughs> right here? Yeah. You got it? Okay. So now you want to pull it up nice and tight and stick it on. See, that looks pretty. So now it becomes a little bit easier because now you can flip it over and do the same thing. Oops, sorry, buddy. <laughs> and do the same thing to the other side. So you're going to fold this over. And obviously you want to make sure you don't fold too much so that you end up seeing the middle part or the present itself. Uh, and you want it, you know, take your time with it. It takes a while for you to get good at doing this. So just don't rush through it. Right, Nene? Takes time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put this one down first and then here for you. Mm -hmm. Put it right here. You got it? Yeah, I'll get it closer to you right here. Good. And then we'll pull it up. Okay, so that's one side. You see how pretty that looks? And then I'll just do the same thing to the other side. So, but you ready? Last one going up, nice and tight. There we go. And look how pretty that looks. No tape, nowhere, and it looks nice and patterned. Good job, buddy. High five. What's up? The, what? The bow. The bow. Yeah, the bow is the most important part. <laughs> okay, so this is where we pick the tape. You want to pass me the tapes that we have down there? Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay. Ah. We have options. All right. Woo. <laughs> Making a mess over here. Okay, so we have a lot of tapes and we just have to choose which one we want to use. Uh, so how do I choose it? Um, how does that look? Not that great. Okay, so this is a no-go. How about this one? This one looks kind of cute. Okay, so this is an option. All right, so we'll hold off on that one. What about this one? That's another option. This is another option. It looks nice. I can use this one this time. And how about this one? I like it. Okay, so now we have three options, and then we choose which one we want to use. Nene, which one do you want to use? Uh, I think I want to use the reindeer. The reindeer? It, the reindeer it is. Okay. So there are a bunch of different ways that you can put uh, the actual tape on it. If you want to do just on one top and then put the bow in one corner, this is how you do it. You need a little bit more because once you do the bow, you take up a lot of the actual tape itself. And then you want legs because the legs will fall down the present and it's going to make the present look a lot nicer. So you want a little more. I'd say that's about good. But I'll show you a few others. So what if you want to do tape through here and the bow up here? That's another way you can do it. What you want to do on that note is you would do this. Hold here. So you would start over here, turn it over, and then go up here. There you go, buddy. Here we go. And then you turn it over again, sorry. And then you end up over here. So now when you do your bow, your bow will be here and you'll have tape on this side and tape on this side. But what if you want tape here and tape here and the bow over here? That's another way you can do it. So I'll show you how to do that one. So if you want to do that, you want to start going around here. Cross it over and then cross it over. And then we're going to cross the two. So we're going to like this and then flip. So when we do that, this is going to end up being one of our tails, which is going to be the tail on that side. So you're going to cross the other tail underneath the paper like this so now you're going to end up putting the bow at the crease that you made i'm going to show you the end result of the all the patterns that i just showed you so pattern number one is this one just one bow around nothing else that's one pattern pattern number two is let me see if i can find it this one edge and edge bow on one of the edges so that's pattern number two and then pattern number three it's like this one all right now i do have a few other presents for this specific person which i'm not going to say who because they watch all my videos and if they know that this present is for them they're going to be wondering what's in it and i don't want people nosing around my house so i have a bunch more to pack so what i like doing is i will wrap them all first and then at the end i add the bows 
So it's kind of like a small factory, you know, you kind of wrap them all and get done with it. And then I start adding the bows at the end. And I do that for each person individually. I don't wrap everyone's because then I'll forget what's inside of them. And then I won't know who it's for. So for example, I'll be like, okay, all the presents from my mom. I wrap all the presents from my mom. I put them in one side. And then a few days later, I'll start putting the bows. And then I'll wrap them all for my sister and then I'll add all the bows. So like that, it just makes it very organized. So because I have a present for this person, I'm not gonna add the bow yet. I'm just gonna put it on the side pile. What's up? You forgot to say me. What about you? About wrapping presents for me. But of course I wrap presents for you. Can you believe this? He is complaining because I didn't mention him. Yes, of course. I already wrapped all yours. They're in the tree. And they all have bows. His are the first to go, always, because there's always too much for him. Always, always too much for this guy. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna just put this back. All right, so now there's two more things that I like to use. I like to use bags. Uh, and that sounds kind of weird, but I'm gonna show you the bags. Can you put this, my little helper? Good, there you go. <laughs> okay, so this is one example. Decorate it. Just because I put it in a bag doesn't mean I can just leave it like that. So I, we added some of this and we added some extra paper that we put. <laughs> Silly guy. And then I have another bag that I'm going to show you guys that I actually think is really, really cute. It's very Christmassy, very festive. Um, this bag just makes me feel super Colombian, you know? Los costales. Like, it just makes me feel like I'm like in a coffee factory. <laughs> okay. So this is the other bag that I was talking about. It has a reindeer on it. It's so cute. And... So that's all done, little teddy bear for little teddy bear. Yay. <laughs> okay, so the last thing I want to talk about, cards. Uh, mm. Christmas cards are a big deal. See this one, for example, is matching the paper. Uh, sometimes, like with the tape, we'll buy the Christmas cards and the tapes together and have them match. And then we'll go looking for the Christmas paper. Um, so a lot of the... So about two weeks before Christmas, so about now uh, and last week, they gave us a present in advance before Christmas. And it's just something that my family does. It's not something that you do, it's tradition. No, it's just something we like to do. They'll get a present in advance. I got one, Isaac got one, uh, his dad already got one, and we go through the family until we each get one in advance. Uh, so I'm gonna show you what I got in a minute, but I want to ask Isaac, what, what did you get in advance? Boo. Okay, so he's going to Paris and London in March, and so we decided to give him a present in advance uh, so he could take on his trip. What did your dad get? Do you know? Brown shoes. He got brown shoes. Okay, probably also for his trip. I got something that I fell completely in love with the minute I saw it in the store. I actually saw it when I was looking for a present for my mom, uh, which also happened to be shoes. <laughs> it's like shoe season. Um, but I'm going to show you now. So this is what I got in advance. Uh, I was very happy when I got this because I loved it when I saw them. Uh, the issue is that it looks like they're a size too big. So I might have to go to the store and try on a smaller size. But oh, aren't they beautiful? So right now I'm wearing Christmas socks. But I can try them on and show you what they look like. Um, Alright, let me stand up for a second here. So this is what they look like. And I just, I really love them. I love the stylish shoe. I have a few uh, styled this way, and I just think that they're very comfortable. They're very stylish. I can't complain. My, my parents know my taste in shoes. They've been buying my clothes since I was a baby, so they better know what's going on, right? Um, but yeah, so every year uh, we get a few presents in advance. Isaac gets more than one because he's a baby of the family. So we each want to give him one in advance, so he ends up getting like five in advance, like one from his mom, one from his dad, one from my dad, one from my mom, one from me, one from my other sister. So he gets a little overwhelmed with presents before Christmas. Uh, but we hold off on the big ones for the actual big day. Okay, so that's about all I want to talk about. Anything else you want to say, dude, about Christmas? I gave my aunt um, a ring before Christmas. Where is it? Here. Here. Yeah. He did. He gave me this. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the story I posted with my ring. Uh, it's beautiful. I put it on right over here. It's just gorgeous. And he gave one similar to this, but a different color to his mom last year. And guess who's next next year? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's about it for today. If you guys have any questions on gift wrapping, please let us know. For today, thank you guys for joining us and watching. If you have any questions or concerns or anything at all, please comment below. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Bye.